Hi, Sarah McNary here to talk about the Quattro Bag, a new class we're having down at Copper Canyon. And you've probably already seen it in the shop. This is one that I just made for spring and it's awesome. They call it the Quattro Bag because it's got four exterior pockets and one of them is zipped, which is just lovely. In fact, speaking of zippers, Sherry has brought in these beautiful, beautiful zippers. There's tons of them and you get to pick two of them to go with your quattro bag. So thinking about your homework and getting ready for this bag, you're gonna do all of your usual cutting out like you would. Don't forget to use those notches, that's very important. In the pattern, normally I would make a checklist for you, but she's done such a nice job of arranging it on this sheet just in linear fashion, it's very easy to follow. So I think you'll like that. Just mark right on your pattern that you've done each piece. Before you come to class, make sure that you fuse and you're going to have fusible fleece as well as fusible interfacing. And something to notice is that those pieces do not match. Notice right here on this fusible fleece that it's a different size than the pattern piece, the fabric that it goes on. That's okay. Trust the process, trust that the pattern is correct, and you're going to end up with something pretty terrific. I do want to mention on the base, she's going to kind of do something a little different. Not only are you going to have the fabric, you're going to fuse the fusible fleece to it and then you're going to fuse some interfacing on top of it to make its big sandwich and that's going to serve as the bottom of your bag. So once you have all of that fusing done, both the fleece and the interfacing, everything cut out, picked your cool zippers, you'll be ready to come to class and it'll be done in a day.